Alright, so this video is going to be back for you to reference. Um, it's going to cover the different types of um, help that you can give your student, the level of prompting, and from top to bottom. So this is David. He's my son. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's volunteered to help demonstrate. Um, the highest level of prompting we can give is called hand over hand prompting and the reason we want to do hand over hand prompting is when your student doesn't understand at all what's being asked of them or it's something more difficult like scissors um, you may want to do hand over hand because it's training their muscles and their motor planning to know what we're asking so the demonstration David and I are going to do today is just drawing a straight vertical line. Um, it's something all of us are working on. So if we were doing that, if we were doing hand over hand, I would come behind David and put my hand over his hand and draw with him. Okay. So that's the highest level of help. The next one we would do is called physical prompting. You're going to want to tap on his hand, remind him what we're doing, drawing a line, straight line down. Um, the next one is going to be gesture prompting. So I would point to what we're doing, kind of reminds him to get it done. The other one we're going to do is then verbal prompting. For verbal prompting, I'll just say, hey, David, remember we're drawing a straight line down. It might even add in like from top to bottom so that he understands what we're doing. Um, then we can just repeat the directions. We're drawing lines, remember? Yes. <laughs> you can do it. And then the last one is they're just fully independent. So, you know, you tell them what they're doing and send them on their way, uh, which some of us are at, some of us are not. Go ahead and do that. Another thing we can do um, is giving, especially when we're doing writing like this, is to put stickers on. If you don't have stickers, you can use stars. Um, this is gonna give him a visual of where we're drawing the lines. So he would start at the sticker and draw down. If you don't have any stickers, draw a star, draw a smiley face, draw anything. Um, but that's our level of prompting. And that's good for a lot of different things. We just use the drawing example because he's right here and that was easy for us to do. But you can use that for any activity that we're going to do. Painting, cutting, um, kicking, a lot of it with um, the more fine motor stuff we have to do a lot of more hand over hand. And especially with a gross motor when we're getting there. Or if you are one of my students who is learning to use buttons, we do a lot of hand over hand to push the button. That way they're understanding what we want them to do instead of us just doing it for them. Okay, good luck.